Well, that just about took care of everybody that didn't die in the Druid invasion of 63. Only a few old souls were left, and they ended up down here. The shady and empty old folks home. Let's go take a look in and see who's about to die next. Just passed away. Lord. Whose lice ridden carcass did they cut off? Irma Twitbury. Glad the old gold bought it. Who wants to play checkers? Yeah. Don't look so upset, Lodge. She lived a long, happy life. Well, if 69 is long and spent in half of it, much tender bills is happy, Mabel's right. What was it that got the old coat? The old ticker talked out, I suspect. It was the influenza in her lungs. It was the heart. The lungs. I say it's a fact she's been brain dead for the last six years. Mm hmm You know, I don't want to sound wrong or anything, but I I'm glad she's passed on. That don't sound bad. You're just glad there's been an end to her suffering. No, I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> the old just always beat me in the limbo contest. <laughs> the only reason Irma won them limbo contest is the only one here that went hunchback. Oh, he's got a point. Well, seeing one of us go just makes you feel mortal. <sighs> Gives me gas. Oh, I had gas real bad lately. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's probably because of the ulcers I got. Uh... I give up worrying about my ulcers ever since arthritis got so bad. Uh, I don't worry about my arthritis anymore. Gout, it's too painful. Mm. I used to have the gout, but since I broke my hip for the fourth time, I don't even think about it. Yeah, broken hips are the least of my worries ever since I started that kidney dialysis machine. You should be glad you still got kidneys. If you don't have kidneys, how do you remove the waste from your system? Mr. Coffee Coffee Filters. Yeah. I gave up worrying about my kidneys ever since the <laughs> black lung. <laughs> Doctors stopped treating my black lungs so they could concentrate on my throat cancer. What? Why, the doctors tell you the only way to keep your cancer from spreading was to never shut up? <laughs> <laughs> They found six growths in my intestines, all benign, but it's just a matter of time before that cancer eats me up. If it's eating you up, cancer can't be on a diet. <laughs> you know, you're just lucky that all of yours was benign, because I had 20 of them when they uh, cut me open last. All but six was the real thing. Hmm. I should be dead within a week from cancer. In fact, the doctor's got this pool going, betting on the day when I'll die. Hold on till Tuesday. That's my day. Why? <laughs> How could you bet on when I'm going to die? You should be ashamed. What I am is upset that old Irma Twudberry didn't make it till tomorrow. I'd have cleaned up. Hazel, <laughs> <laughs> don't get so upset. If I win the pool I'm in... He won't be around to collect nothing. <laughs> Let's all face it, we're all gonna die sooner or later. No. You start getting all mushy, I'm gonna make it sooner than later. You're gonna kill her. Take it. Tomorrow. Day after. You two should be ashamed. We're only on this earth for a short while, and you shouldn't treat it like it was a game. That's where you're wrong. 
We are only on this earth for a short while. That's why we ought to live each day like it was our last. Well, uh, if you're such a potty animal, Lige, what say we go back to my room and uh, bounce the bed springs to beat the band, huh? You huh? still do that? What do you think killed old man Bauckham? I thought it was a chemotherapy. So I'm kinky. <laughs> well, if you're so all fired hot, you think you can do both of us? Ah, the second one will have to be around to get the first one CPR. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> complaining about their arthritis in the morning. Knowing Hazel, she probably called the death squad. Do you really think she'll kill them? Hey, who was giving old man Markham CPR when the ambulance arrived? Well, you should do something. Stop them. Yeah. I got Harvey's name in the pool today. Too bad there aren't any of those old folks left for me to collect off of, but after Oscar won his bet about Harvey, Hazel was elected Hell's Angels Mom of the Year at the National Convention, and the Chicago chapter put her on the back of their bikes, and the Provo chapter put her on the back of their bikes, and the two tried to make a wish. Ugly. Real ugly. Then the rest of them all disappeared when the comet collapsed into the moon, and those vegetarian squids started showing up off the coast of Columbus, and, well... You all know what happened then. <laughs>